Yes, Denton is a No Excuses remake of a 60-year-old Wharfdale classic. There's no getting around that. But don't be so convinced that a light dive into Wharfdale's back catalogue is somehow outdated or defunct. Because it is not. Not by a long shot. It seems that Wolfdale's onto something with this whole heritage racket, something beyond the surface level aesthetics. Sure, heritage looks the part, but by incorporating elements of traditional loudspeaker design from the 60s and 70s into its modern reimagining, Wolfdale has produced some pretty surprising results, and its 85th anniversary edition Denton is one of them. There's a lot more to this loudspeaker than meets the eye, and its nod to classic loudspeaker design reveals that a line dip into the past doesn't simply bank on nostalgia, it might in fact leave you with a more fulfilling listening experience. So let's dive into the what of it. The Wolfdale 85th Anniversary Edition Denton is a two-way bookshelf loudspeaker featuring a frequency response of 45Hz to 20kHz and a sensitivity of 86dB. The speakers have a 6 ohm impedance and are recommended to be used with an amplifier that can deliver somewhere between 20 and 100 watts of power. The Denton features a 1 inch or 25mm soft dome tweeter and a 6.5 inch or 165mm woven Kevlar mid-bass driver, which is further supported by a rear ported bass reflex design. The cabinet dimensions are 340 x 240 x 275 millimeters, constructed using a multi-layer sandwich method combined with real wood veneers, available in black oak, mahogany, and the walnut that you see here. And its finishing details include bi-wireable binding posts, rear heritage anniversary badges, and jersey knit speaker grills. So who is and isn't Denton 4. Well, from the outset, it should be addressed that Wharfdale's heritage range, of which the Denton belongs, isn't for everyone. Not everyone's gonna favor the classic hi-fi look, nor will they preference a classic sound. In fact, if you're a diehard digital audio futurist that shudders at the thought of vinyl records, then Denton is not the speaker for you. But in all fairness, it's not really designed to appeal to you either. No, Denton 85 is fairly well aimed at the vinyl slinging audio enthusiast with a certain romantic bent for classic hi-fi. You know, brushed aluminum electronics, the big old jog dials, loudspeakers that double as room furniture, you know the type. While modern loudspeaker design favors disappearing into its surroundings, classic loudspeakers are, well, Wow, they are not disappearing into anything. Now, despite how niche this listening audience may sound, you might be surprised to know that Wharfdale's heritage range has actually become an absolute blockbuster. It's easily one of Wharfdale's most popular loudspeaker line. And with the addition of made in the UK heritage models like Dovedale and Aston arriving in the second half of 2024, that popularity isn't likely to slow down anytime soon. The original Denton dates back to one of music's most iconic periods, the late 60s and 70s. And if you're a fan of this music period, and let's face it, who isn't a fan of this music period, then Denton might just be the loudspeaker for you. This holy era in music is an epoch of such immense creativity and innovation that it summoned forth the likes of Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, The Beatles, Rolling Stones, Jimi Hendrix, Bob Dylan, David Bowie, Janis Joplin, James Brown, Aretha Franklin, Fleetwood Mac, Creedence Clearwater Revival, shall I go on? This holy era in music is not just seminal, it is downright cultish. And with damn good reason. Few moments in music's history are responsible for such a diverse range of sounds and expressions. And when tied to seminal political movements like free love, Vietnam and the Cold War, it's little wonder why this condensed explosion of artistic expression continues to heavily influence contemporary culture. So for a loudspeaker to be steeped in the rich history of this musical era, it is also little wonder why Denton reproduces this music so damn well. Much of why Denton delivers big with the 60s and 70s music belongs to its classic big box wide baffle design, a trademark of speaker design from that time. At 340 x 240 x 274, Denton gives you a lot of loudspeaker for your dollar, and its larger than average bookshelf size is kind of the point. That much wider than average baffle width of 240 millimeters helps to mitigate a problem found in many modern, slimmer loudspeaker designs. And that's the problem of baffle step. 
Loudspeaker baffle step is an acoustic phenomenon that occurs when sound waves emitted by a speaker driver encounter a change in air pressure caused by the baffle edge. This edge, which is the transition from the baffle face to the surrounding air, can cause a significant reduction in the loudspeaker's output in the mid-bass frequency range, typically between 200 or 1000 Hz. This reduction occurs because the sound waves diffract or bend around the baffle edge, causing a phase shift in the sound waves that result in some of the sound energy being cancelled out. As a result, the loudspeaker's output in this frequency range is reduced, which can affect the overall balance and tonal quality of the loudspeaker. Now to compensate for baffle step, loudspeaker designers use various techniques. They can use a stepped or curved baffle edge, but this can and is likely to cause all kinds of other diffraction issues. They can use a crossover network that equalizes the response, and in most cases that's precisely what they do, but the trade-off is that it tends to decrease a speaker's efficiency. So you're getting less performance at lower wattage. Or they can use a wider baffle, like the Denton and like the speaker designs that belong to our much beloved bygone era of the 60s and 70s. Denton's mid-range, aided with this increase in baffle width, is the star attraction of its musical talent, at least according to the critics. The mid-range, as you might expect, is where the Denton really shines. It's seductive. It's the kind of mid-range that kind of draws you in until you absolutely fall in love with this loudspeaker. Vocals, especially those that fall in the tenor range, I'm talking about Fiona Apple, Tori Amos, sound especially good. Possessing all of the detail, nuance, inflection, not to mention in-room presence that I could ask for. Seriously. The mid-range here is absolutely addictive. Music from the 60s and 70s was heavily influenced by the technology available at the time, particularly in terms of recording equipment and amplification equipment. Many of the classic recordings from this era, in fact, all of the classic recordings, were made using analog equipment, which had a specific frequency response curve that emphasized mid-range frequencies. A great example of this mid-range emphasis is the sound of an electric guitar. Many of the iconic guitar tones from this era, such as those used by Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, or Jimmy Page, were heavily distorted and heavily emphasized around the mid-range. This gave the guitars a cutting and aggressive sound that not only helped them to stand out in the mix, but it also became one of the most defining sounds of the era. Overall, the emphasis on mid-range frequencies in music from the 60s and 70s was a result of the technology and production techniques at the time. This approach helped to create a unique and memorable sound that, like I said earlier, has become downright cultish among modern music lovers. And the 85th anniversary edition Denton, due in no small part to its stellar mid-frequency talents, serves it up with some of the best. While Wolfdale took some key design principles from the original Denton that favor music's most iconic era, it's by no means stuck in the past. Everything about the 85th anniversary edition Denton is bang up to date. Denton is not only kitted with completely redesigned driver systems, its mid-bass driver diaphragm uses woven Kevlar to significantly improve cone stiffness and self-damping. A very modern improvement that produces a highly detailed, dynamic listening experience. In addition to Denton's driver improvements is the introduction of a multi-layer sandwich cabinet construction bonded by a layer of damping glue. Underneath that stunning true timber veneer is a first class and contemporary approach to mitigating cabinet resonances that ultimately are going to color and distort a loudspeaker's playback. By combining a wide range of modern improvements to a traditional design philosophy, the 85th anniversary edition Denton won't just favor the classics, it will slay modern music too, long into the future. So yes, Denton is a no-excuses remake of a 60-year-old Wolfdale classic. There is no getting around it. But the 85th anniversary edition Denton isn't trying to get around it either. If anything, Denton leans right into its historic roots to deliver some pretty outstanding results. This talented two-way heritage bookshelf speaker performs exquisitely for the die-hard vinyl junkies salivating over music's holy era. Denton's impeccable mid-range talents, thanks in no small part to its big box wire baffle design, makes listening to albums like Dylan's Blood on the Tracks, or Rumors from Fleetwood Mac, or even Zeppelin's, well, anything from Zeppelin really, a near spiritual experience. Just don't be fooled into thinking that that's where it ends. 
Denton's driver overhaul, its updated cabinet design and modern material selections have made it a weapon with new music too. Anything from Adele's 25 to James Blake's Overgrown isn't just well done, it is downright impressive. So if you have a small to medium sized listening space and you're looking for a vintage two-way bookshelf loudspeaker that kind of favors the classic, loves a vinyl record, but also delivers the goods when it comes to modern music too, Wolfdale's 85th anniversary edition Denton might just be the loudspeaker for you. Of course, if you're looking for more details on Wolfdale's 85th anniversary edition Denton, then head on over to avrevolution.com.au. Details are in the description below. As always, leave us some feedback. We'd love to know what you think of the 60s and 70s music. As always though, play nicely. I'm Matt from AV Revolution. I will see you again next time. Until then, happy listening. <laughs>